Hi guys, Bob here and in this video I'm bringing you an unbox and uh, I'm going to show you it in use, this uh, Enatec FE 2007 and this is um, this has been sent out to me by Enatec for review purposes, I've had it the best part of two weeks now I have been using it and uh, I've just put it back in the box to show you uh, how it all goes so, it all just comes in a plastic bag like that, I've already uh, um, so I taped it so we'll put that to one side and so you get the case itself a power cord and a USB 3 cord and of course your all important instructions that's just a piece of paper off the uh, piece of foam that they give you I've already like I say I've been using it so it's already uh, stuck to the inside of the box and um, you know quick flick through the manual you know it's got a couple of different um, languages so no problem there. So anyway, let's put that to one side and uh, we'll have a quick look around it. Now you can see this is a powered one. Uh, you can see there you've got a DC 5 volt there and then an on off switch. Now that is a, the, the, the power switch is only for the HDD um, or, or SSD because it'll take both. Uh, SATA 3, uh, one one, two, and three, uh, and you look around there. You've also got three USB three out ports, and then back around here, USB three port, and then it's just completely toolless. You just slide it open like that. There's the foam pad that I've already put in, and that's it. You know, it's very lightweight. It's a good quality construction. Uh, really good plastic, actually. Uh, quite pleased with that. Uh, stays in good, good condition as well. So it looks smart on the desk, which is obviously where you're going to want this because of the fact that you can put in more um, thumb drives and things like that. Expand your memory. You know, you might want to even take things away with you. So I've got a drive here. Now this one's just an old uh, 64 gigabyte one. It's already formatted for my Mac, even though it could be, you could be using this for Windows or whatever. Uh, oh, it's just got one of those stupid cases on. I don't know why I keep putting that back on. I think it was just to keep this clean, actually. So if we pop that in there now, that's it, that's in. Put the lid back on. And that just slides straight up like that. No rattle. That foam pad stops the rattle. And that's it. You know, that's it, it's in. Uh, still nice and light, you know, obviously a little two and a half inch drive's not heavy at all. Uh, so let's uh, show you it up and running then. Okay guys, so here's the MacBook up and running. And what we're going to do now then is we're going to... Now normally what you would do with this is, because this is uh, for the power supply, uh, what you would normally do is uh, put it obviously into a USB power supply, which I do on my desk. Uh, that's uh, how I've been running it on the desk. Uh, so if I put that into one of my USB ports on there, and we can plug that into the DC there and you can see that you get your power light so you've got the little blue LED there that tells you that the power's there to the drive but it's it's doing nothing at the minute because it's you know it's it's not turned on so obviously it does nothing so then if we take our USB 3 lead that is uh, all supplied with it so you've got everything you need to get started and if we plug that in to the other port on there, helps to get it the right way up. Roll on USB-C. <laughs> right, so that's in. And this goes into the other side here. Okay. So now what you've got is basically a usable hub. Now if I get a little thumb drive, if we put that on helps you get that the right way up that way up and then what should happen is that should open in my mac which it has right there i don't think it's uh, showing up on camera very well actually it's just you can just see it but that's a little uh, secure drive i've got there uh, so if i click on that i don't think i've really got anything much in it at the moment 
it's actually a secure one that's got a vaulted section so anyway that's that open and then if we now turn the drive on at the power switch down here that should also show up once it starts and there it is and you can see that I've actually labeled that test drive uh, let me just move that to where you can see it so that's that one there as well so if I now double click that and there you go so you can see that one's empty okay so what, what you can see here is I've, I've got a little uh, it was actually one of my thumbnails from a video let's just uh, get the info and see what size that is and it's uh, it's just a little uh, little image that's uh, a 1080p image that I used for the front of one of my videos and that is 351 kilobytes so it's not a massive file but if I drag that to there and to there and there you go you can see that both are working so you're running into the drive and also into that and then also at the same time if I take that I've got a lead here if I now this is the only thing with this I've noticed is the plugs are upside down um, and I suppose that's the only thing that you could really sort of if you wanted to call it a negative and if I get my iPhone 6 plus and plug that in and you can see it's now charging that as well so you know it's obviously at the minute I'm using two ports that's actually just opened iTunes as well let me just quit that so if I wasn't using that second one for the power, obviously from one USB port there, I'm running a drive and you've got three uh, USB 3 data ports there. So it runs a, it runs a, a speeds of uh, five, up to five gigabits per second, but obviously that depends also on the drive that's in. This is only an HDD that's in here. It's just a little old 64 gigabyte one that came out of an old uh, computer. Uh, what I'm going to do now, basically, is well, it's the it's what I have been doing, is I'm going to put my um, time machine drive in there and have it on the back of the desk instead of under the desk like it normally is now because then now I can put that on the back of the desk and I've also, I'm also gaining three ports out of it. So, you know, a great way to expand. Uh, you know, uh, I'm actually very impressed with this one and it's, it's, I suppose it's, I mean, I know there are other devices out there that will do the same thing. Um, but this one, you know, it's, it's, it's got a nice ballpark price. It's, and it, it's you know it just does everything that you want it to do uh, I've you know I've had no problems with it whatsoever build quality is nice you know yeah it's going to collect the dust and what have you but what doesn't so there you go guys that's the Inertech FE 2007 hard drive enclosure and of course you get in an extra sort of little thing thrown in there by getting the three ports so uh, leave your comments underneath guys you know uh, do you sort of expand your equipment out like that you know, I mean, these days, data is more, being more and more sort of like utilised and more required. And, you know, you might even want to carry it around, which obviously, you know, you can with this as long as you've got a power supply for this one, obviously. But, of course, without the power supply, it will still work as a hub for your thumb drives and what have you. And, you know, plug your phone in at the same time, maybe an iPad, you know, or, or basically through a USB 3. So there you go, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers guys, see you.